Check it out, this platform is now using AI to wipe out hours of accounting firm busy work. I'll show you a collection of new AI features that'll reduce the time it takes to request information from clients and even save the client's time submitting their info. And this is a big deal because when I ran my 40 person accounting practice chasing clients for info, it was our single largest waste of time. Now these are some of the coolest examples of product AI I've seen yet. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use AI to save your client's time completing your requests. Use AI to build big long client questionnaires in seconds. Use AI to build document request list based on pro forma info what they gave you last year. And a fourth, like no brainer, why haven't we been using AI for this already feature that they just dropped. And the kicker is we can do all of this in a single app because the accounting ecosystem right now, there's an app for every job imaginable, but wouldn't it be nice if you could centralize all that functionality into one place? That's what they're trying to do. This video is a sponsored feature overview by Canopy, a practice management system. Canopy wants to be the all-in-one home for as much of whatever's happening in your firm as possible. Everything from your email inbox to your projects to time and billing. But let me first show you how to use AI to save the client's time. This is really cool. I'm gonna hop into a business client here. Say we're starting to work with this new client. We wanna push them this like onboarding questionnaire. And Canopy, I'm just gonna come up here to plus, scroll down to questionnaires, and I'm gonna grab my template for like new SMB clients. I'm just gonna hit create. It's got some boilerplate questions, all the stuff that you need from a new client. But oftentimes, I'm gonna send this off, you actually get some of those details just in the initial conversations you're having with the client. Look at how smart this is. I'm going to flip over to the client's view. From here, the client's got any to-dos that I've pushed to them. They can make payments. We can collaborate on files. But if I come back to this questionnaire, we'll hop into it. Look at this, four responses detected. Based on your records, we found four potential answers that match this questionnaire. Plug them in, AI. Uh, uh, just put them in. So now we've got legal business name. This has pulled from the client record. Their email, this is pulled from the client record. Business type, this is super cool. This is using AI to pre-fill client forms based on all the information you have from them. And it can even pull from the file system. Like if it sees an answer to these questions in your files that are in Canopy, it can even autofill based on those, right? How cool is that? Pretty cool. This is the problem with boilerplate requests is you look like a dummy asking for information you already have, but there's still scenarios where you do the boilerplate like new client onboarding. Feels like the best of both worlds, right? Okay, but what about building like more intelligent questionnaires for ongoing clients using AI? Look at this. I'm gonna flip to their individual client. That was the business client. This is their personal. Client has an outstanding input. Why are we even working on this if they owe us money? I'm sorry, bit of PTSD there, I think. Let's keep going. I got this big ugly questionnaire that I gotta put in front of the client. This is an example from tax software, but this could be a list of any questions. Back in Canopy, I'm gonna create another questionnaire, but I'm gonna draft, are you ready? We're gonna toggle this on. Everybody hanging on to something? Ah, okay, now I'm gonna add that questionnaire PDF that I just showed you. This is for next year's tax prep. So let's say the due date is January 15th. Client reminders, yes please. Every, <laughs> let's say every weekday. Every weekday for 60 days. Because David Anderson, where to begin? We've all got a couple David Andersons. Okay, it's creating the questionnaire with AI right now. I can't recommend enough using your software to do like follow-ups with clients. So much of info gathering is remembering who do I need to follow up with? And what have they given me? What are they not giving me? Loading requests into software makes that so much easier to manage at a larger scale. Okay, it's so built the questionnaire. I'll change this to 2025 because I didn't actually tell it what year I wanted this to be for. Pop down to this section. And what you're looking at right here is a recreation of that entire questionnaire PDF complete with all the questions and even the sections. If we flip back to the PDF, that is what all of this was. See personal info, dependent info, purchases, sales, and debit information. Then it can't be personal info, it purchases, it pulled all that stuff in and it's smart enough to include some intelligent context here. I'm gonna send this off to the client. I'll push it to both Catherine and David. Back to the client, so you remember we were logged in as their business. We can just quick switch to the personal here. Here's the outstanding balance. Never mind. Here's that questionnaire we just made. We hop in here. Here are all the questions organized by section. I didn't make them required so it, it completes as I click through it. But you see down here also is a document checklist. If I flip back to the questions, uh, what's a good example? Did you receive an identity pin from the IRS? If I say yes, it conditionally gives me another question saying to upload the notice that I got from the IRS. And now the document checklist is showing zero of two. So if I toggle this to no, 
It's zero of one, I toggle it to yes, it's zero of two. So it's doing this dynamically on the fly. If we come back to the document checklist, now there's two items. I can indicate uh, it's not applicable, provided elsewhere, or you can come up here, do a bulk download, watch this. I've got an example notice for the pin. Let's the client rename it if they want to, but they can drop any number of files up here and Canopy's AI will identify which of these documents are in that bulk upload. So that took, I don't know, seven or eight seconds. And it matched the notice that I uploaded to the outstanding item requesting the notice. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. By the way, actually everything that I've been showing you here, the client can also do really easily on Canopy's mobile app for clients. Look at this. They can flip back and forth between their different accounts. They can hop into that exact same questionnaire we were just talking about. All super straightforward to come through here and make all these selections. We're cruising right past it here, but Canopy, it is one of the most mature practice management systems in the space. So it does a whole ton of things. Here, we're really just talking about like some new razzle dazzle AI features to help you gather information more efficiently. One other really cool feature I'm gonna show you before the last like no brainer, how is this AI not built into every platform sort of feature. But if we come back to requesting documents. Remember this cool view where you can like upload things and it dynamically figures out what they are. If we flip back to the firm view, I'm gonna come up here and create a document checklist. I'm gonna toggle on AI. We're doing it again. Oh. And what I've got is this work paper file from last year. It's a pile of government forms, brokerage statements, even emails like this. How many charitable miles did you drive? Any political contributions? What type of pizza do you like? They did the classic respond in bold down below. Are you watching this? I'm gonna add that work paper file to Canopy here, but I can also give it an AI prompt. I'm gonna say request copies of all the 2025 versions of these items that we use to prepare past returns. Be very detailed in the text of your requests. And if you're unsure whether to include an item, include it. It's faster for me to just remove an item that it made that maybe I didn't want than manually build the whole thing myself. We're gonna set the due date for this, maybe a few weeks into February, cause it takes longer for them to get all these broker statements, stuff like that. I'm gonna create, it's gonna do its thing. I can actually close this, I'll get a notification when it's done. Really exciting to think like everything that's happening with AI here, every time we get new AI models, it makes this stuff better. It's already done, it didn't even take 10 seconds. Okay, let's look at what it came up with. It's asking for the W-2 from new tech company, social security statements, two 1099Rs, 1099 div we had in there, a few documents from ABC Wealth Brokerage. If I can nitpick, in that PDF, this was like a consolidated brokerage statement, so it was a single document. So I would wipe these out and say, just say brokerage statement. It asked for a mileage log. The only context it had there was that email that said, how many volunteer miles did he have? <laughs> In fact, I didn't even ask for a mileage log there. I just asked for a number. This is maybe doing a better version of that ask, right? Proof of political contributions. And then this, how did this get in here? This wasn't part of the prior year work paper file. It included this because of that notice that we just uploaded a couple minutes ago. So let me send this off to the client so you can see what it looks like. But if I create another uh, document request here and enable AI, hang on. Ah! I don't even have to attach a file. In fact, I can give it a prompt here and what it will do is just look at everything that's in the file system for that client. You wanna talk about like lazy document request lists. That is pretty darn cool. It comes down to like how much on rails do you wanna put it? But this is also the beauty of having AI on top of the system that contains as much context as possible. Because it can see into the entire file system, it can build that request list, factoring in everything from like, you saw the questions I asked in past emails. Okay, let's flip to the client view. I can show you what that looks like. Now we've got this document request list and it is just a whole pile of documents. The client can indicate whether they're not applicable. They can upload directly to those items or they can do what I showed you earlier. Just drop a big old pile of files and let Canopy sift through and decide, here are the ones that you've given me and here are the ones that we still need. That is super Super cool. But last, last and in no way least, this feature I'm about to show you, I think this is gonna be built into like every platform that we use very soon, it's that good. Let's pop down to settings here. Under document settings, you can use AI to apply a naming convention across every document in the firm. So client uploads like a pile of files, right? And they're named, I mean, they're probably not named at all. We can use AI to name every single file that's submitted to the system in a standardized way. So here, we can customize what we want that standardization to look like. With the current setup, this is what it will look like. It has the upload date first in month, month, year, year format. That's the 1025. The document type after that, this is F1040. So it's actually classifying everything that's been uploaded, trying to figure out what it is to put that into the name. Third, we have the issuer. This is from the IRS. Last, the client name. I don't like having the client name on the end. I think it 
makes it too long. So I'm gonna change that and hit save. But if I come back to that client's file inbox, let's come over here to files, over in the file box. See, we got four files here. I select all, click the magic pencil. It has successfully identified all four. So here's the upload date, here's the document type, and here's the issuer, Chemical Mutual, Public Schools Employee Retirement System. I hit done, and now I'm simply gonna drag these into whatever folder I want to, probably under 2025 tax. And brother, I never gotta rename another file again. How cool is that? Now, Canopy's file management. It's got some super cool bells and whistles that this AI stuff just kind of puts on steroids. For example, my firm would have replaced the app that we used for secure file sharing, but it does a bunch of things. We actually broke them all down in this video. Check that one out and I actually think you're gonna be impressed.